to one who's dying from a deadly disease, and you know you can support finding a cure. You believe that the method is moral, but others try to take away this chance away from you because but others try to take away this chance away from your loved one when they can be saved. My name is Evan Bogata, and I'm here to talk to you about a controversial issue that is being heavily debated across the US, stem cell research. I am pro stem cell research, and I believe it should be allowed to continue and expand due to the problems it holds for curing the millions of Americans afflicted with harmful and deadly diseases, such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and cancer. As Alex told you, Stem cells are generic cells that can be taken from diseased, discarded, or aborted fetuses. These cells have the ability to grow into whatever type of cell the body needs and endlessly reproduce themselves. Stem cell therapy has the potential to combat many diseases that are presently untreatable. There are two basic types of stem cells, embryonic and adult. Embryonic stem cells are the main cause of the controversy surrounding the issue, because embryos that are taken are destroyed. Now keep in mind that the embryos used to obtain stem cells have been aborted, are deceased, or are kept in fertility clinics, where they would most likely be discarded after a short period of time. Rich Bonin from CBS states that there is a substantial surplus of embryos, and instead of being wasted, could be used to achieve a life-saving breakthrough in stem cell research. Embryonic stem cells are the most promising stem cells, and have been proven to be able to grow into nearly every type of cell the body needs, with very few problems. Adult stem cells, on the other hand, cannot grow into all the cells in the human body like embryonic stem cells can, although the method in which they are obtained is not controversial at all. Adult stem cells also have a lower chance of being rejected by someone's body as they are taken from someone's own blood or bone marrow. A common problem with embryonic stem cells is that the human body may reject the cells since they originated from someone else's body. Maggie Fox, a health and science editor from the Scientific American, but a fascinating article, article about two small miracles that have recently occurred this year involving adult stem cells. A guinea pig had its hearing restored by stem cells taken from human bone marrow, and a tackle had its eyesight restored by stem cells from a frog. These events fill me with hope and suggest very strongly that stem cell research will be successful. Imagine a future where very few would needlessly suffer from harmful diseases and millions would have the chance at life they never would have had without the advances in stem cell research. My opponents, Mr. Gao and Liu, may try to convince you that stem cell research is unethical and immoral, that obtaining stem cells kills embryos. However, Stem Cell Information, the National Institutes of Health.com, presents information to the contrary. It states that embryonic stem cells are taken from embryos that have been fertilized in a vitro fertilization clinic, not in a human body are consciously given by an informed donor. The challenge this aspect of stem cell research is also to challenge an American's right to donate the embryo for scientific research. There are also many new ways to utilize stem cells, morally, such as using adult stem cells. LifeSite.net provides the story of a Portuguese woman named Erica Nader, who has gotten a horrible car accident and was cured from resuming the permanent paralysis in 2005. She had had cells taken from her own blood and used to help repair her spinal cord, and today she is recovering slowly but steadily. Another controversial aspect of stem cell research is the religious aspect. The main split between pro and con in stem cell research is whether you believe that embryos are alive or not. I believe that for something to be alive, it must be able to survive on its own, not, in its, not without its mother's womb. Also keep in mind that according to the Scientific Daily, many embryos in vitro fertilization clinics are discarded instead of being utilized to move forward to finding important cures. As you can see, there are many different ways to approach stem cell research, and all of them will help save lives and lead to many amazing options in future science. Stem cell research is not immoral. It can be approached in a way to level up everyone's values and will save lives. Adult stem cells and new ways to obtain embryonic stem cells get rid of arguments against stem cells, stem cell research's morality. Countless stories of the success of stem cell research fortify my argument and fill people across the country with joy and hope. If you had a chance to ensure you and your loved one's future, wouldn't you take it? I am pro stem cell research, and I am pro life. <coughs>